So the issue here is an issue. If you blur something, it's a it's it's something that a bunch of people do because they think like I, I they probably don't know that there's a better way. But if you blur something in an adjustment layer and then feather the mask of the adjustment layer, this would be how many people would approach doing like a gradual blur from like top to bottom, for example. But it's wrong because it doesn't actually blur. Like what's the blur value? 41? It doesn't actually blur 41 here and then 30 here and then 20 here and then 10 here until it reaches zero. It just fades the blur. So it's like always 40, but the blur just gets transparent. And you kind of see it a bunch in video games because I feel like it's a cheap way to maybe achieve this effect. Either way, uh, this is not how to do it, but unfortunately I don't have a better way. What you would do otherwise if somebody cares at all is make an adjustment layer, use a lens blur. Blur it a bunch, which is obviously like 10 times slower, but this is how to do it. And then you could either make like another layer with a gradient, for example, gradient ramp, they changed it like probably 10 years ago. Anyway, you would set this as the mat of the blur. So you could say in the, in the lens blur effect, you can say the blur map would be the one you just created. I'm gonna set it as luminance and I'm gonna get it with the effects so it would actually have the gradient. And now you can see like the blur is 10 times nicer compared to what it was because the values actually like decrease as you go up. So you don't, you don't actually like, it's actually blurring like less and less and less and less until it reaches zero, which is probably the right way to do it. But again, this effect is like 10 times slower. So sometimes it's just like, not the right way to do it. But how nice is it? Look how like beautiful this gradual lens blur is. Anyway.